Is it this way? Oh, yeah, yeah, my mom probably thinks I take drugs before playing this game. Banner for a useless legend that I don't play. Literal one. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about the collab events coming in the future of Apex Legends. Now we already know of the Post Malone one, the Final Fantasy one, but I think we're going to get a couple more and I have a good idea of what they're going to be. But also there's new cosmetics coming in for the iconic skins and what that means for the future of those cosmetics and it, there's just a whole lot to cover. We're going to go over all of it, we're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe because of the drill, but without further ado, let's jump into how these new events are going to work. So there's some new information that just came out from Hypermist and it's about iconic trackers actually. There's going to be banner for frames, badges, and trackers for future legends coming with those iconic skins. Now, in case you didn't know what those iconic ones were, that was what we saw in the Post Malone event for Octane, Horizon, Lifeline, and Wraith. And this is very interesting because I can't really think of anything that deviates an iconic skin from a regular skin, so it does make sense that Hypermist has found this and that they're adding more to it. But that lets us know a couple of things. One, we're going to continue to see these collaborations. It's not going to end with Final Fantasy, which is the next one, which we know has six iconic skins, but instead we will be continuing to see more and more added into the game. There's actually something I just realized the other day. There's this new feral skin for Vantage actually found in the game files by Hypermist. There's one for Valkyrie as well and there's no release date and it's not attached to a specific event, at least not one that we know of yet. Now at first I thought oh maybe this was going to be a Final Fantasy one but Vantage isn't getting one of the iconic skins in that. I said I think this skin is going to be for a Monster Hunter crossover collab event. We've actually seen Monster Hunter do collabs with other video games before. They have a brand new game that was just announced at the Video Game Awards and when you look at that new feral skin it actually looks a ton like the monster hunter skins from arathalos take a look at the vantage skin right here and that left leg really looks like that armor plating on that skin but i digress let's go back to what we can talk about with the iconic skins and what makes them so unique now we know that respawn had a really tough season 17 where it unperformed financially they specifically said well this new season did not meet our financial expectations the team has implied important learnings including new game mechanics to engage and retain players we did see the three strikes with that new engagement but unfortunately the player count is actually actually still down so I can only imagine that the amount of money that Respawn and EA are pulling in is getting even harder to do. So they've obviously gone ahead and stepped up their cosmetic games. For instance, the new Loba Prestige skin got a new music pack with her mythic skin. It also now has the dive trail. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on dive trails for the prestige skins that got released with the original legends that didn't come with dive trails. I hope we eventually see that, but I do find it interesting that we are getting trackers, banners, and more to make the value of the iconic skins worth more. I wonder actually if the Post Malone skins didn't sell as well as EA had thought. What this could mean though is that we finally get Newcastle trackers. Man, everyone has been waiting for those for so very long. The downside of this is trackers actually used to be a free prize reward in the event trackers for certain events, so it's kind of a shame to see that what was once free for the players to grind out in these events will now likely become a paid cosmetic that gets attached to another skin, sort of like how they continually add in all these bundles. I think this will be very interesting. We've always had a lot of really cool just in-game events, and seeing them do more collabs is super awesome, and what it could actually open the doors for. You know, we've had the one where we had the Marvel skins that were inspired by Marvel characters, although it wasn't an official collab. I could imagine some cool iconic skins such as that Horizon being officially licensed as Scarlet Witch, and I think that would just be absolutely phenomenal. Apex Legends is going to have to go ahead and start pumping out a lot of these events, or at least get them going with LTMs, possibly even having iconic events with a new type of heirloom, because I did hear from an inside source that this is actually going to be an upcoming collection event. It seems it will be a new type of collection event, which makes me very curious about what kind of heirlooms we will see in the future for these. Will there be like the artifact daggers which were leaked as a free heirloom that will be universal and every time we get a collab event there's something that comes into the game that we can play and grind for that's a very unique cosmetic like the buster sword or maybe something from Monster Hunter World or are they going to just create something brand new that we've never seen before outside of just the prestige skins, the heirloom recolors, and the just general plain old heirlooms. A lot of this has me thinking and I am excited about the future of Apex Legends but I really really hope that they continue to focus on engaging ways to make the game more fun and not just collaborations with iconic skins and cosmetics to be sold. Comment down below, are you excited for a new type of collection event that we haven't seen before with upcoming content for cosmetics or would you just want to see more LCMs? I don't know. It could go either way. I know the fan base is usually pretty divided on this. Also, don't forget to check out this video right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content, but will also be dabbling into the finals. I highly recommend checking it out. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.